Hello boys and girls, welcome to this presentation. In this presentation, we're going to talk about Unit 2.1, Simplifying. Question 1, Simplify. In this question, we have A, B, sorry, C, D, and E. Let's start with A. Question A. 3x plus 5x. Here we have two numbers. As you can see, we have 3 and 5. And we have a variable, which is x. Now, when the variables are the same, the rule says that you add the numbers. If it's addition, you add the numbers. It's like saying 3 apples plus 5 apples. So the answer will be, very good, 8 apples, which is x. Good job. Now, let's move on to the next question. Question B. In question B, we have 8y, 2z, 2y, and 9z. Now here, we have two variables. We have y and z. So what do we do? Very good. We take the same variables together. We add them. And then the other variables, we add them together. So here we have 8 plus 2 equals. Very good. It's 10. And we write y next to it. Plus 2z plus 9z equals 11z very good so this is the answer for this question you take the same variables together add them and then you take the others together and add them now let's check question C question C we have 7t plus 5g minus 2g minus 5t focus here because we have plus and minus the same idea we take the same variables together and we use the sign between them very good now here each variable or each number has a sign before it now this sign is for this one and this sign is for 2g and this sign is for 5t and 7t it has a plus sign but we don't write it in the beginning very good now let's take the same variables together we have 7t and negative 5t so it's 7 minus 5 very good it equals what good job 2t and then another variable which is 5g negative 2g so 5 minus 2 equals what very good equals 2 I'm sorry 3g very good and 5 minus 2 is plus 3g so you have to focus on that okay remember to put the sign next to each number sorry not 39 it's 30 or 3 g yes and plus very good now let's take a look at the next question question d in this question as you can see here we have 8h 9j and 15h now which ones are the same we have the h here and this h but what's difference here the difference here or the difference is that the negative sign is on the big number and you studied before that when the when the negative sign is on the big number we start with putting the negative sign very good now before we start let's put this one here because we don't have to do anything with it so we put 9 
J and then the negative sign is with the big one so negative 15 plus 8 equals what or 8 negative 15 it equals very good negative good job 7 negative 7 and then we put the variable next to it as we say here because there's a negative sign with the big number here so we say 15 minus 8 it's 7 and we put the sign of the big number very good now let's move on to the next question question E question E we have 3x cubed x squared and negative x cubed now which variables are the same very good the ones that have the same power are the same the cube ones very good so we don't use this we put it this one we put it the same we say x squared and then we come to this we have 3x cubed minus x cubed. Do you see it? 3x cubed minus x cubed. So it's like saying minus 1. Because we don't write 1, but it's the same. So it equals what? Very good. It equals, we put plus, because the sign of the big number is plus. And then we put 2x cube very good or power of three very good i hope you understood it thank you very much for watching see you next time